Okay. <laughs> I'm answering uh, one of the most asked questions. What is that? Now, well, that's another question. Um, what digital set, what digital system should you invest in? This is my opinion. It's based on working for uh, a number of companies. Um, you should invest in the Carrera digital system. And I'll tell you why. Most of you who uh, ask this kind of question are new to the hobby. That's great. Welcome to the hobby. Thank you for enjoying slot cars. Thank you for hanging out here on Slot Car News once in a great while. I appreciate it. Why Carrera Digital? Well, first of all, the track system. Carrera Track is hard plastic, hard plastic track. This experience, the hard plastic track experience, is far and away the best experience you can have. I personally have Policar Track, as you see beside me. Now, is it going to focus again? Yes, it's going to focus. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Sony Focus. Um, Hard plastic track, the best track experience you can have. Why is that? Well, uh, plastic track you can change around as opposed to like wood track. Once you make a wood track, once you route a wood track, you're pretty much done. You race it, you, <laughs> you run what you brung at that point. Hard plastic track gives you a nice uh, track surface that the track pieces fit together and stay together well. And the surface of the track is probably always gonna be flat. The same cannot be said for soft plastic track. Now there are a few companies that make soft plastic track. Uh, Skelextric is one of them. This is a piece of Skelextric track. Uh, it is uh, quite flexible. Uh, the, the, the guide slot can vary if the, the width of it can vary depending on if the track is flat or not. Uh, I've seen Soft plastic tracks sag in heat. Uh, when I had a track out years ago, I was doing an event with uh, Flying Lizard Motorsport, the, the, uh, the, at that time one of the Porsche semi-factory teams here in uh, the U.S. And I had an SCX track out in, the, in the, the sun all day. That track was soft plastic track, essentially the same kind of material that uh, Skelextric uses, soft plastic. It sagged in between the, the ridges that you can see here under the track surface. You see those little cross hatches, these little, these little reinforcing bars? I saw, it, I saw the track sag between those. So from the top, where you see this nice smooth surface, uh, you could see indentations of where the track had sagged. Not good, folks. When I had done multiple years of events with Carrera Track, this is Carrera Track, um, it never failed. It was in, out in the rain. It was out in heat. I've had it out in snow. Um, I've had it out with lots of drunk people around it drinking alcohol when I did a, an event for Miller Coors at Watkins Glen years ago. Um, the track is essentially bulletproof. Uh, lane changes, digital lane changes, now there are issues maybe with them, but just as far as a racing surface goes, um, if I were to invest my money in soft plastic track by any company, or hard plastic track by any company, I'm going with hard plastic track regardless. Polycar is what I choose because I do analog racing. It has far and away the best, most grippy surface for that and for a regular rate, for any kind of slot car racing, regular racing, whatever that is. Um, Carrera surface is, is okay. It's certainly better than Skelectric surface, which has very little grip. Skelectric uh, Carrera surface has what I would kind of consider a medium grip. And then Policar is being the best, in my opinion, with high grip. However, this video is about digital. Talk about digital, Dave. Yes, digital is mostly uh, a plug-and-play market here in North America. Most people that want to do digital want to put the set together, <clears throat> put the cars on the track, program the cars, play with their kids. Go with God. <laughs> I'm very... <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great thing, folks. Enjoy, play, and there we are. You're, 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 uh, you're at peak slot car. 
you're 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 doing the do. It's a it's a great it's a great hobby to have, folks. Uh, Carrera offers not only uh, the basis for great racing with the hard plastic track, which I talked quite a bit about a second ago, but the other part of that is the digital displays. Carrera had uh, invested a lot in the digital displays they offer for the system. They have a start light, which is a gantry that goes over the track. They have a position tower, which shows you the positions of all of the drivers on the track. It shows you the laps of the leader at the top. They have a lap counter that plugs into the control unit. The CU, as they call it, the control unit, is the, uh, the brains of the system. The Carrera system, I really want to talk about you know, the overall play experience. I've had a lot of experience racing Carrera Digital and showing Carrera Digital to uh, consumers of all ages, not just hobbyists, actually especially not hobbyists. When I would do events for Carrera, they were mostly uh, consumer events where I would be at a, a trade show or a show with, uh, with a, a real car, real race cars or uh, car shows or auto shows. And when I showed even people of a certain age, <laughs> grandparents, uh, age folks, when I showed them, you know, why they would want to have digital, why they would want to have multiple cars on only a two lane track, they get it immediately. They want to be able to race with all their grandkids. Or if they're parents, they want to be able to race with all their kids. Uh, at one time, on a two-lane track, regardless of the number of lanes, you drive the car, not the lane. That's the important takeaway with digital, is you can be anywhere on the track. It doesn't matter what lane you're in. Uh, adding multiple lanes to a, to a digital track honestly never really made much sense to me. It makes more sense to kind of min-max your experience, if you will, and to race on a two-lane track and to really get the most out of that door-to-door -door close racing. And Carrera's system is quite well thought through with all of the digital displays they offer, the driver's display, which is like, you think of it, it's kind of like got a, a tachometer sort of display on it, and it'll show you your laps. It's a nice little, it's like a dashboard basically. And it's a, it's a great visual experience. They make uh, nice wireless controllers that actually do work quite, quite well. There's 15 bands of uh, sensitivity with the wireless controllers. I had used their wireless controllers at a number of events, never had a failure, never had a disconnection issue that I couldn't reconnect and get the car to race well with after that. Um, all of the displays that they have every one of them add to the enjoyment of the system. They can be placed anywhere on the track where, a, um, where the, uh, the, the track connection piece is available. It has plugs on, on both sides of the track. So you can plug those displays in anywhere around the track you'd like. They're nice, bright uh, LED displays. So you can see them from across the room. It's like a color red or green on a black uh, background. Very visual, very easy to see. Get back in focus, will you? Thank you. Um, hopefully that wasn't out of focus too long. Uh, it's just a very feature-rich system and a display-rich system. Skelectric really doesn't have many, if any, displays. You can add apps to the digital systems. When I've raced some of these digital systems, I've never really felt the need to, or the desire to have a uh, computer screen that I'm looking at. Um, it always made more sense to me that, uh, that you have a, uh, a display on the track, like you would have if you were driving the car. Now I know, you know, modern, good, real race cars have a uh, display on the wheel, but I don't know. The display system that Carrera have as well as the good, solid racing surface of the hard plastic track, durable track that you're going to be able to use for years and years and years. No rusting, by the way. Um, that is going to add so much to your experience. That's most of the slot racing experience right there. 
that's most of what you need, what you're going to benefit from with the Carrera digital system right there or any digital system. They offer just more. They just do. They offer a good range of cars. Now, you will have to chip an analog car to race digitally on the Carrera digital system if you're buying cars, including from Carrera, um, to race on the Carrera digital system. Now, you can get what's called a Carson chip, which is a plug-and-play, easily dropped-in chip to change the uh, Skelextra cars of the world out there that have what's called the DPR door um, that plugs right in. It connects quite easily to the system with no wires to fiddle with, no soldering necessary. Um, there are other aftermarket chips available. The Carson chip is an aftermarket chip, of course, um, meaning a third-party chip, a non-brand chip. Uh, you can get other brands of chips. Uh, I think Slot Technic is another one. Uh, they require small soldering ability. Not what I would say most people are able to do if you're in the digital market because most of you are going to be plug-and-play folks who may or may not know how to solder. That's okay if you don't. I'm not disparaging it. But most people are going to want to buy a set, plug it in, go. And that's all you have to do with the Carrera system, with the Carson chip. Uh, it's pretty simple to get going. For all of those reasons, that is why I would suggest Carrera over anything still in the market. The system that they have currently available is a system that they've had for more than a decade now. When I worked for Carrera from 2010 to about 2017. That's when the majority of the accessories that I talked about uh, had been released. Since then, there have been minor additions to the system, but nothing really substantive that's changed the system in any way. There have been firmware upgrades. There's been an app that's been developed for it. But again, as I said, most of the time, I really feel that the, that the system, I mean, certainly for me, is best enjoyed without a screen. It's best enjoyed with the displays that Carrera offer because that is definitely a core strength of their system. Thank you all very much for checking out this video. It was a bit long-winded, but I wanted to explain all of the personal reasons why I feel you're going to get the best bang for your buck uh, out of the Carrera digital system. Thanks again, folks. This video was sponsored by nobody. See you all again soon.